Hey y'all, this is Rochelle and welcome back to my channel, Rochelle's Plans. Today we're going to be doing a different style or type of video. I'm going to be planning in my daily plum paper planner. So if you want to see how this turns out, then keep watching. All right, y'all. So I have the pages turned here to um, Monday the 21st. And what I'm going to do is plan or write out, well, yeah, plan for Monday the 21st. I figured that since I showed you all, did a review and showed you all that I was going to be adding this planner to my lineup, that I wanna show you how I'm going to be using it. Um, now, what I do today and how I format and lay things out today may change throughout my process here of using this plum paper daily planner. Now, I was using the Happy Planner Mini Planner, uh, the Mini Happy Planner. I don't know if I'm still going to use that. Y'all let me know if you want to see me um, still decorate um, the mini dashboard layout. So let me know down in the comments below if y'all still if that's something that you still want to see And then if so, then I will continue to do plan with me Showing you all how to decorate the mini dashboard layout. I mean, I loved decorating. I love using it um, the mini happy planner, but this just gives me so much room and it just allows me to just list out all of my to-dos in one place and not just on sticky notes. So as you see here, it has June, um, Monday the 21st, and you've got the top three. You've got a section for today. I have a section for social media, notes, um, to-do, and then just blank over here. Now, I think what I'm going to be doing once I get some stickers is probably just um, put a June sticker here or a monthly sticker here and then a date sticker here. I do want to show or capture the weather each day. And so I have here this seasonal, the Happy Planner seasonal mega sticker book. And tomorrow in Texas, the high is going to be 90 and then the low is going to be 64. So um, I do want to show that here in my planner. And then there is some chance of rain as well. So do I wanna use this one? I think I'll use this one here. Um, the clouds and then the lightning bolts. I think I'll use that. I kinda wanted to use the sun peeking behind the clouds because, only because it's going to be sunny in the morning and then it'll, the rain will, is supposed to come in the evening. So you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to use this little sticker here. And I think this may be all that I use out of this sticker book. So let's do this, y'all. This is new for me too, so bear with me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's put it right here. Like so. And then y'all, I have this Sarasa Dry Drift Grip in the point five. I got this from Cloth and Paper. And y'all, let me tell you, I love how this pen writes. I don't know why I've been so uh, late to the game. I thought I was ordering this when I ordered this one. Uh, what is this called? I don't even know what this is called, but I got this from Cloth and Paper also, but clearly it was the wrong pen. And so I've just been seeing good reviews about this pen on Instagram and YouTube that y'all, I had to try it out and I love it. I, I, what I really do like is the how it writes. And then this grip here, I love it. So what did I say it was gonna be? 90 is the high tomorrow. So 90, and then the low is 64. Okay, 
Oh, let me just show y'all. I told y'all, y'all just bear with me. This is my first plan with me <laughs> in this type of planner. So, you see here, I did not um, plan for today, which is Sunday, nor Saturday, or Friday. But let me just show y'all where I started planning. Okay. Did I not plan on Monday? No. So I started Tuesday. And let me just do this. Mark these off because I did all these. Okay. You see here, I did not have any. I just had pen to the paper. And I used the Z, the dot stickers. Um, but I just had pen to the paper. And it worked. Oh, I didn't do that. I had to carry it over. Oh, both. Oh, you know what I did? I did it on the wrong day. Okay, so you see here, this works for me. Um, again, just pen to the paper. So what was that? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm, I love this because it gives me so much room to write. So, but now, y'all, y'all know that I plan using my Happy Planner stickers. And I need some stickers in this planner. So let me just zoom y'all in a little bit. Okay, so for my top three, <clears throat> let's, okay, I, I don't know. I thought something was flying in my room, y'all. Okay, so for the top three, uh, I'm going to put, and I'm going to do this every day because I do want to make sure that I do these every day. So this is what I use, the um, Zig Clean Color Dot. Okay, I got it off Amazon and I'll link it in the description box if you want. Okay, let's just do this. And y'all, I love it. You don't have to use dot stickers. I mean, you can if you want to, but you don't have to. But I love it. It just makes it so much easier. Okay, so my top three for tomorrow, which is Monday, is daily devotion okay I do want to make sure um, that I have my morning coffee okay and then I also want to make sure that every day that I brush my multi poo rider so he's a mix of a multi uh, maltese and a toy poodle the dad was a toy poodle and the mom was a maltese so his hair if you don't brush it every day will get matted so we have to make sure that we are brushing him daily so if the kids don't do it then i have to i make sure that i brush him Okay, now for today, the today section. I am going to fill it out like I have here um, with using the different, using the times. So I'm gonna do, and it's just like in the Daily Duo, um, the EC Daily Duo, they're laid out like this also um, every two hours. So. Let's just go ahead and do this. Six o'clock. Okay, I just did five there because I get off at five. So here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that there and I'm gonna put, I don't have to be at work till 8.30, but I usually get up around 5.15 or 5.30. And I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna start my day before six o'clock in my planner. But once I get up, I'm gonna make sure that I do my daily devotion before I even start before six o'clock, before I start my a.m. routine. Uh-oh.
okay and then at eight o'clock is when well at 8 30 i'm just gonna put work and then work is gonna go all the way to five and y'all this ruler here is from simply gilded it came in a sub box so i'm going to use this to draw a line i'm just going to put that right there so all that is blocked out for work now on the weekends this will be different because i'm not going to start at six o'clock unless we have something to go to and I need to start that early. It'll probably start around 8 or Monday. I'll probably start around 8 or 9 o'clock. All right. So from 8.30 to 5, it's going to be work. All right. And then 6.30, I want to have dinner. And I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to have, I think this will be spaghetti and some type of chicken. Okay, so uh, spaghetti and chicken. And then let's go ahead and make these dots here. So first I have a section here, social media. So for social media, I need to film plan with me, which is this video here. So I can go ahead and check that off. Um, So then I need to do the edit, upload, and the description. And then next is going to be what I have over here. I think it was messages and comments. Okay. Post to IG and stories. And then, um, yeah, thumbnail. And then I need another one. Comments and messages, okay. I like to respond to y'all sometimes did y'all see that? Yeah. Sometimes if it takes me a while to reply, just know that I will reply. Even if I just reply with a, um, a like or with a heart, I do like to reply. If you guys take the time out to comment, I do want to reply. I, um, I, I think it's important to reply to comments that was a pet peeve of mine when uh, and it still is like there are youtubers who are content creators who have a good following and people take the time out to reply and uh, to comment and they never reply I don't know why that is but I don't know or they reply to like maybe one or two but I do want to reply on Instagram and on YouTube so all right so on my to-do list for tomorrow tomorrow I need to do my keep want to make sure that you guys can see I do want to make sure that I do um, laundry I gotta get used to these coils, y'all. Um, Cause I'm used to just taking out my pages, out, taking my pages out of the Happy Planner, and laying them down on my desk, and my hand doesn't have to hit anything. So I gotta get used to this coil here. 
which is not terrible. I can, I can fold it back on its side, but I still have to get used to that coil being there. So I want to do laundry. I need to, well, I should have put this first prep budget for the week. So I prep the weekly budget. I need to prep, no, my lunch. Take out chicken. I need to call the groomer. because Ryder needs a bath or another. He needs to go back to the groomer, y'all. What else? Okay, so tomorrow is trash day. This is my son's chore. So I'm just gonna put B for bro. But I do want to just make sure that it gets done. He takes out the trash and the recycling. Our trash goes out on Mondays and Thursdays. Oh, I need to call Amazon. Because I was paying for Amazon Prime, <clears throat> which is over $100. Um, can't remember what it was like almost $130 and my daughter oh, I heard somewhere but they were saying that she could use her student discount and it's only like six bucks a month but I think you get a trial I thought it was I thought she got a six month free trial and then they start billing but I saw the transaction go through um, in our account so I just want to call and just make sure that they weren't charging me too early and if so i need to get the refund credited back to my account to our account so that's why i need to call amazon i also need to call bath and body works because i placed an online you know it's semi if y'all don't know it's in my annual sale so i placed an order on the 17th 17th or the 18th and today, those same items I purchased are less expensive. So I'm calling them so the way I can get a price adjustment for those particular items that I've already purchased. So I got to call Bath and Body Works and I need to contact one of the moms for cheer and make payment for Ryan's lunch. So I need to Venmo camp lunch. Okay, and so for right now, that's all I am going to put down on my list. As things come up throughout the day, I will notate them down. I do take this planner with me to work I carry it in my purse so yeah I, I just take this and I refer to it all day long so now I'm gonna do just a little bit of decorating I have here marked already in this happy bloom sticker book this flower arrangement in this envelope I guess that's what it is so and I just want to put this right here because I think it goes with the blue color already on the page. And I'm gonna take some washi tape, if I can find it. Yeah, I'm gonna take some washi. And just put it, uh-oh. Let me 
tear it in half. Well, geez, what is going on with me? Let's tear it in half and then put it here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this piece. Okay, like so. And then I'll probably put some, or maybe that's enough. What do y'all think? I also have a little notes uh, section here and I'm gonna put it here. So Raylan works tomorrow. So Raylan, she works two to 10 and then Ryan works She works 11 to 11. She picked up a shift, y'all, uh, from, I don't know, she was supposed to go in from like 5 to 11, but she picked up somebody's shift, and she's going in 11 to 11. He told her, I was like, girl, you are going to be tired, let me tell you. So she's like, I'm going to be making so, I'm going to make so much money tomorrow. Got this job at McAllister's. So that way, this summer job, so that way she can try to save up for a car. And we're very proud of her. If you want something, then that's what you need to do. You need to go for it. But she's only going to keep it for the summer. And she has been so strict on herself and not purchasing anything, not buying anything, just saving her money. And she's been doing really good. But I did tell her, I told her and Raylan, yes, that's good that you are saving your money, but you still need to give back to God. Um, you need to pay that 10% every week because he's the one who allowed you to get this job. So y'all with that, I'm going to call this spread done. I do I like it. I like how it turned out. I think last week I was needing some stickers. I just like to decorate and I like to decorative plan. It's okay to just have pen to the paper, which this worked. Clearly it worked. It kept me on track, but y'all, I need some stickers. It, you know, even if it's just one or two, I don't need some stickers. So I'm going to be looking at, uh, look, looking at shops to see what stickers I can purchase because I have followed the plum paper and daily plum paper and some other, I just need some color or something other than pen and paper in my planner. That's just me. You don't have to have stickers in order to plan. I just like having them and I have a lot, so I'm going to use them. Started following Plum Paper and um, some people, some Instagrammers who decorate or use the Daily Plum Paper uh, daily planner so I am getting inspiration from them as well on how they are decorating so I am going to be purchasing some stickers from different shops so that way I can decorate this more and yeah y'all so with that this is done I hope you all enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to follow me over on instagram at plan with rochelle and thanks so much for watching bye guys